Hi, I'm Craig Ishii, Solutions Marketing with Logitech. Our latest 1.12 build of Collab OS is evolving our right site to grid view with a feature called subtitling. Now, in this video, I wanna show you what it looks like on different platforms and help you to understand and explain some of the theory behind its behavior. So it's super cool stuff, let's dive in. Okay, so before we dive into the feature, let's take a few steps back and cover right site to grid view. Now, grid view is the AI software-based ability of our rally bar line of products to split individuals sitting in the same room into separate gallery images. Now, this feature is special because it helps to really elevate meeting equity by allowing remote participants to better see and hear the active speakers in the room. Now, ever since the initial release of grid view, we've done a lot to improve that experience. First, we of course brought the experience to Zoom and Microsoft Teams, and we minimized the camera movement of the split individuals. We then released camera zones so that you can set the zone of who gets framed and who doesn't, and so that the camera excludes people who aren't actually in the meeting. Now, we also added speaker highlights so that remote participants also know exactly who's speaking. And so, next on top of this, we're adding subtitling for CollabOS devices in appliance mode, which is gonna give participants an experience like Logitech Sight, where frames are split so that we can show more individual participants during a meeting. Okay, so I'm sure you're excited to see the demos, so let's dive in. I brought in some of my colleagues and we're gonna show you what it looks like with differing numbers of people in the room. And we're also gonna take a look at how it's presented in both Zoom and Microsoft Teams. And of course, as a bonus, I'm gonna talk through a bit of the theory behind what you're seeing. Okay, let's take a look at our first example. Okay, so what you're seeing here in this first video is the feed from a Zoom room in multi-stream mode. Now, in terms of the logic behind how the frames are being laid out, you're seeing two things that are at play. First is the artificial intelligence that's minimizing what we at Logitech call hitchhikers. Now, a hitchhiker is when a hand or a part of a person's body appears in another person's frame. So first, we're looking to minimize hitchhikers. Then from there, the second thing that's in play in a Zoom environment is that we're trying to maximize the number of streams. Now, let's just take this video that I'm overlaying here and just rewind it just a bit. Now, in this part of the video, as a remote viewer, you can see that there's a certain limited amount of shoulder distance between Holly and I. Now, because of this, we're presented together in one frame. But watch what happens as we move apart and our shoulder distance increases. We're then split into two separate subtitles. Now, as I additionally mentioned, our device intelligence here is also looking to minimize hitchhikers. So that's part of the reason why there are four of us, but they aren't split into four separate streams, but instead there are two streams with two pairs of people subtitled in each so that we're being framed in more narrow tiles. Now, the narrower tiles are gonna help to reduce the amount of hitchhikers coming from other people's frames. And of course, it's also worth mentioning that we're providing the additional room view so that you can see the context of what's happening in the whole room. Okay, now let's next take a look at another example in Zoom, but this time with more people. Okay, so in this example that we're showing here, we've now got seven individuals in the room here, and I've also added a few additional variables. If you look at the contextual room feed, you can see that Davis and I are standing but we're still being framed at similar heights as the people sitting down. Now, this is a standard feature in grid view. We're trying our best to level the heights between individuals for more equal representation during a meeting. Now, similar to what we showed in the last example, we're first trying to minimize hitchhikers. So the three individuals on the left are being composited. And then if we look on the right, the two individuals on the right are also being composited. But the two of us in the back have more space between our shoulders, so we're getting our own individual streams. So again, we're first minimizing hitchhikers, and we're looking to maximize the number of streams up to four in a Zoom environment. Okay, next, let's talk about the Microsoft experience. Now, since we're doing a single composite stream, we're gonna see something a little different here. So in the example that I'm showing, we've got four individuals in the room, but you can see the behavior is slightly different than what we saw in our Zoom example with four people. Let's talk through a little bit of this logic. The first part of the logic is the same. We're seeking to reduce hitchhikers. But second, instead of maximizing the number of streams in a Microsoft Teams environment, 
we're reducing the amount of blank space in the gallery. So you can see here in the example, we've got my teammates here, and then there are four of us, but we're all in a single frame split four ways. So no empty black space above, below, or to the side. Okay, so that's a demonstration of how subtitling works, as well as a dive into the theory of why certain layouts will look the way that they do. Now, a couple of quick closing notes here. Subtitling in this release is first available on appliance mode deployments to start, and then we'll add USB-based deployments in our next Collab OS release. Now, just a quick couple of notes on setup. Subtitling is enabled in Collab OS settings under the right side two heading. So be sure to check out our latest release of Collab OS 1.12, and let more of your end users be represented during meetings. Better representation means better meetings. That is the new logic of work with subtitling. We'll see you next time.